guys. We hate fun. We hate fun. We have one more time for the tall boys, everybody, Rodney and Chris. You heard them play a lot of originals, a lot of classics. Two friends of mine. Uh, they're going to be touring. They're going to be. Uh, <laughs> They're gonna, they're, up the spot, man. they're gonna be they're they're doing Universal City this week, Panorama City next week, guys. They're they're blowing it up, Culver City by this weekend. They're gonna be on the All City tour. Forty nights, one Forty city. nights, one one town, eight freeways. We're gonna play every 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 time bar in Los Angeles. <laughs> it's just gonna be like one of those old rock and roll t-shirts, but it's just like instead of saying like Albuquerque, Phoenix, it's just gonna be Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Los Angeles. <laughs> Throwing Winnetka in there for a good time, huh? Is that how you pronounce it? Rancho Cucamonga. Road gig. All right, guys. We got some laughter coming. Well, this guy's funny. I know he's funny because uh, he's got the same name as me. But all the way in from Phoenix, Arizona. Bring in the Phoenix heat. Valley Caliente. Put your hands together for Matt Martin, everybody. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Play the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the show doesn't go right tonight. I like that you were telling them that they were going to go on a tour because I know so many comedians recently that have gone on tours. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you guys are on tour. How much money are you making? No, we're not making any money. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a tour. <laughs> oh, we're, not, we're just going to like different cities and then going to open mics. Like, that's every city. Like, that's <laughs> stupid. It's, it's a sad yeah. You're just wasting gas is what I hear. Like, just tell me you want to see scenery with three other people that are all annoying in a car. Like, that would make sense. Oh. So, um, I'm here doing my L.A. tour. And I love it. Oh, gosh. I actually had a... Uh, I had nothing to say right there. I completely didn't know. They went, well. Oh, um. So, uh, about doing comedy, like, I have a lot of friends that aren't comics. And I, and I try to tell them what it's like, and I tell them what I hate in comedy. I'm like, I hate doing open mics. And they're like, really? Oh, that must be miserable. You mean you go to a bar where you're not just a stranger sitting by yourself? And then you, eventually they all start paying attention to you? They laugh, they clap when you get on and off stage? <laughs> That's horrible. You spend all night laughing? Look at my eye. You get to say offensive things to people that would get you punched in a parking lot, and then they appreciate you for it? I got punched last time I was saying to my eye. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, was, I wrote that a week and a half ago. I was like, I don't know. I don't care if you guys like me, my mom loves me. Her kisses taste like vodka, which is why I now think vodka tastes like love. <laughs> oh, no, she was wasted tongue kisses. She thought it was my brother. No, I don't know. No, I might get, I've been getting groans on that one, so I tried to add even more offensive things. And, and I don't think that's the way to go. I think it's just accept that it's going to be a groan, and that's not a savor of a joke. Can't guarantee a laugh on that one. Um, my comedy is so hot, I've been getting laughter tickets lately. And uh, I actually, um, I have something in my book. So, I'm a 32, my name is Matt Martin, I'm a 32 year old Scottsdale Community College freshman. <laughs> so, go artichokes. Yeah. Um, life is paying down exactly the way I wanted it to. <laughs> but, um, school's tough for me. Like, I went back later to school and it's mostly because when I was younger, I was actually in like the reading, disabled, and the math disability class. So in like third grade, when the teacher would come out and be like, okay, everybody, it's time for reading. Matt, Trevor, you guys can leave. <laughs> oh, okay, like, we'd have to put on like, this smile of like, oh, well, we have places to be. And then we'd just like hold hands and skip our way out of the classroom going, we don't know anything. I know <laughs> I'm stupid. 
So that was a real embarrassing thing. But I realized it's because I don't. There's a lot of things in school that never made sense to me, like. Abraham Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address, but how would anybody know if that was actually a good speech when he was giving it? Because they gave that after the Battle of Gettysburg. <laughs> that would have just been weird. I mean, like four score and seven years ago, our forefathers. Abe, would you speak up? We were shooting guns all day. <laughs> Cannon went off a foot away from my face. This ear has been bleeding for like, I don't even have an ear. Would you shut up? Abe's talking. Someone shot his father four times or something. <laughs> no, you idiots. He's telling us to score. Now, was it four to seven, Boston? We're going to the World Series. <laughs> you three guys are to the left of me. That guy just told you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, or math. I, I've passed math now. I'm done with math. I'll get, I'll get an associates in December. Um, in, in screenwriting. So I've got a career ahead of me. <laughs> and then now. Um, it's actually in, it's in film and broadcast. What I've learned in Phoenix about film and broadcasting, high demand. Very high demand for that career field. Nobody wants to pay you. But man, there's high demand. Oh, you know how to do film work? You want to do a wedding? Want to, want to shoot my friend's wedding? You want to come and take pictures of the house and then put it up on my website for a real estate thing? Sure, yeah, I will do that. I don't have any money to pay you. <laughs> I need the experience. You're telling me I'm going to get some... Dang it, I forgot the word. <laughs> exposure. You mean I'm going to get some exposure for this? That's my favorite thing doing stand-up comedy. No pay in this show, but great exposure. <laughs> and that's that's actually how Jennifer had marketed the show for me. Guys, just show up. There, it's not it's not gonna make any money, but great exposure. Um, you're gonna you're gonna make it huge. I'm sad he's leaving because I really want to do my math joke, and I was kind of just directing it to him. <laughs> like, I just had this sinking fear. Okay. All right, so should I go back and tell you about Scottsdale Community College? And, uh, <laughs> no? Okay. Well, I didn't understand the math. Um, like, it has, like, there's irrational numbers. Yeah, yeah. Like, four is always like, five, I saw you looking at eight. What, you think she's prettier than me and she looks like the infinity symbol? And she can go on forever? <laughs> eight's like, four, if you keep acting like that, you're going to end up just like negative two. And everyone knows negative two is a cutter. <laughs> And negative one is so self-centered. And Pi shows up, and Pi's like, hey, allow me to make a point. You never make a point, you're Pi. Then just have me to repeat myself. You don't repeat ever, you're Pi. And 10 is obviously bipolar, because it's two numbers, but it thinks it's one. <laughs> and obviously that is a joke, and I'm glad that you went along with me. You know it's a joke, because four is not irrational. It's an integer, it's divisible by two, it's an even number. Is it an integer? Yes. Yes, okay. I, I actually had to know that, and now I have to keep going back to look that up. So <laughs> like, the idea that like, we're going to use this math later was great. And I, I'm still, now I'm really confused, because I was telling Amy, I was like, no, Matt said Roy is in legitimate bands, and I think it's because Chris called you Roy up here. And I just picked it up, and I think you were actually referencing a movie. And then Amy goes, no, his, he told me his name was Rocky. Rodney. <laughs> Rodney. It's Rodney. Rodney. Oh, Rocky. Oh. He's just making up names now. Oh, I thought you said Rocky. Rodney. So. I've been actively listening to a lot of people, except my girlfriend. I'm just here to confess that and get that off my shoulders. I've been so interested in people and actively listening. And then... Wishing someone would shut up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One minute? Okay. Um, yeah, because it did just get weird there, right? Like, oh, that was yeah, that was what we talked about earlier. It was too inside because nobody has seen her. Dang it. Um, I'm going to end with this joke because I did it last night. But my friend Mike has been very depressed lately. Very depressed. Say everything twice. Say everything twice. <laughs> because this imaginary friend Dave left him, I was like, wait a second, Mike. Are you telling me your imaginary friend Dave would rather not exist than be your friend? That's pathetic. 
Karma for people like that. Mike's like, man, I don't like the way you're treating me about this. I'm like, wait a second, Mike. Are you saying you'd rather not exist than be my friend? So I killed him. Uh, I got a new friend. It's his imaginary friend, Dave. Really cool. He helped me hide the body. I did most of it. Uh, really lazy. Not because he's imaginary, but because he's a Mexican. Um, and Irish. At least I think he's Irish because he's always drunk. But he's drinking Hennessy, so he's probably black. Although he knows Kung Fu, so obviously he's a manatee. Uh, anyways, I'm hanging out with my imaginary Mexican, Irish, drunk, black Kung Fu manatee. And I realize he's kind of a douche. He, he never drives. I always have to pay. Manatee's low. And I'll say that to his imaginary face. <laughs> All right, bring him up. You're welcome, your host. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Matt Martin, everybody. He took the bullet. He was going first. He was being brave. Give it up for him one more time. I'm, tur I'm turning the disco lights off. I'm turning the disco lights off because I wanted to. I wanted to get real in here. Uh, it's a very funny guy. I worked with him on a show a couple weeks ago with his comedy.